Taurus. Welcome to your love connection reading for the month of January. This is Mary, and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So Taurus, this is a love connection reading, so you have to have an actual connection with a person. Now, you don't have to be committed or anything like that. As long as there is a mutual connection of some kind, you both have to know each other. If um, they don't know who you are, then you may want to watch the singles reading I do every month. That may uh, resonate for you, but this is intended for someone you have an actual connection with in any way, shape, or form. So let's see what we have for Taurus. So welcome in, everybody. Welcome. Um, thank you for being here. Hope everybody's doing well. This will be out before Christmas. I do date, uh, date it January, but it's intended for whenever you see this. I do consider all my readings timeless on my channel. So if you'd like to go back and watch past uh Taurus readings. All the playlists are listed below in the description box and you can check that out if you'd like to. So let's see Taurus. Taurus, Taurus. What's going on? This January already. Can you believe that? So Merry Early Christmas. Happy New Year. If you celebrate the holidays. So with this deck is a Zodiac Oracle. We may get a sign element planet. So whatever comes out here, if you don't resonate with what comes out here, that's totally fine. Um, just a little extra bonus. So let's see what we have for Taurus. Pluto, which I do believe is uh, Scorpio. So you could be dealing with a Scorpio. If not, that's totally fine. Or they could have it heavily in their chart. Now, Pluto energy is about, um, it's all like the basics of human life. It's like life, death, birth, and rebirth, sex, power, control. I mean, all that kind of like basic life energy. So we'll see how that, and oh my God, I just noticed Tarsha too. Pluto is 22. And two is all about uh, unity. You know, people coming together, unity. And two, two, two is six. Wow. And six to me is a very balancing, healing uh, number. Wow. So we'll see if that means anything. All right, so what I'm going to do first here, um, Taurus, I'm going to pull an overall love energy between you and your person, whoever you're thinking about at this time, Taurus. So let's see what is the current love energy right now between Taurus and their person, Spirit, please. Thank you so much. What is the current love energy right now? I'm feeling that one between Taurus and their person. So we have Master. So this is the Devil energy. So, I mean, could be mastering, you no know, emotions, feelings, trying to balance things out. As I said, two, 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 six is all about balance. And, oh my God, we have one, five, which is six. So six is a definite number here of balance, peace, harmony. And, you know, the devil can talk about, um, you know, mastering and balancing out those toxic energies from within. It can be behaviors. It can be addictions, it can be um, obsessions, it can be a very strong, passionate um, connection also, because the devil can also represent that very passionate, fiery uh, connection between two people. You know, it can represent toxic energy like codependency and all those things too, uh, but you know, we'll see what's going on with that energy. So what I'm going to do now... Um, Taurus is going to get one for you, one for your person, how you're feeling about each other and the connection. And, oh, well, I guess those two are your cards. So I'm going to put you here, Taurus, and your person here. But if you feel at any time during this reading the energy is a switch, please do that. It's how tarot works. Um, take what resonates, you know, throw away what doesn't. Uh, at any time you feel the energies should be switched or flip-flop, then please do that. All righty, so let's just move these out of the way here. So you have take the lead. So this is the three of wands energy. So this is about um, three of wands is usually about patiently waiting for the right time. It's like it may not be the right time right now. So you're just waiting for the right time before you can take the lead and step into whatever you see out into the future. So in three here, you know, it's about teamwork, collaboration, working together. So let's see what your person has. So they have seek nine here which i believe is the hermit i think that's or is it the hanged man hmm. i think it's the hermit so 
Let me just double check because this deck is a little bit different. It's sort of like a tarot oracle deck. So sometimes with the majors, since they're not really they're not really labeled like a normal um, tarot deck. So I do believe that is um, Hermit. Yeah, that's what I thought. So Hermit energy here. So your person's in that energy of going within. So they're going to be going within and really um, doing that inner journey, that inner searching soul work, deep introspection, healing, finding their way, their light, their path, mastering all their energy from within. And that could be that... Uh, devil toxic energy or something like that or really you see this like heart in a cage so i mean they really could be just trying to tame their emotions their feelings their passion um but i feel like you're wanting them to just take the lead and come forward it's like they're like waiting like they're holding back maybe they don't feel balanced enough but it's like you want them just to take the lead and come forward already so let's see what the bottom of the deck has to say so we have rest and reconsider here so this is the nine of wands so this is about um you know beating being the wounded warrior the tattered soldier you know you've been through it but yet somehow you know you rest but then you always have that will to keep fighting on if you need to so even though he's resting there i mean he still has a little bit of strength in him here to get up and uh fight if he has to and i don't think he wants to but he will so, I mean, with the knight, nine of wands there, um, you know, it could be that your person, or it could even be you, has been through something, been through a struggle, a battle. It could be with a past situation or just personal uh, things. And they're really trying to tame that beast from within, tame that energy, if it's toxic or not, or whatever here. And really uh, doing that deep soul-searching work. But I feel like you are just wanting them to, like, come forward already. You know, maybe you've been fighting for them also, very passionate about them, and you're just like ready for them to come forward already. So let's see where this is going for you, um, Taurus. All right, oh, that's too many. So let's clarify, take the lead, and then one, okay, there we go. So we have the four swords. So again, that's with that rest, recuperation, uh, retreating, healing, contemplating kind of energy. It's like you know they're healing themselves. They're taking a time out or whatever. But you're also just ready. Like Things could be just on a pause or a break now for whatever reason. But you're also ready for them to just step up and take the lead. But the King of Pentacles energy here, I really think they're trying to gain their balance, their stability, their structure. They're uh, you know, being smart, practical, analytical. And uh, they really, really want to come in right. They want to come in as the king of pentacles, someone who is safe, secure, abundant, stable kind of energy. Maybe they're not stable right now for some reason. And I feel like you know that and you know things are on a break, but you're, you're also already, you're ready. You're just ready for it to also, for them to come forward. And also, you know, they're trying to gain this stability because they've been through it here with the nine of wands energy. And it could be your energy too of like, you know, really fighting and not giving up on this person also. All right, so let's see. Let's clarify here with the Four of Swords for Taurus, Knight of Cups. Yeah, you're ready to come. You're ready for them to come in on their horse, even if it's just a knight, you know, with their cup of love, with their love offer. You're ready for them to take action in love, I feel. You're ready, even though... Even though you're waiting or, you know, like I said, things are on a pause or a break while they are gaining their stability. All right. So let's see what they have. Yeah, the Page of Swords. So, again, they could, you know, be using that sword here to cut out things no longer serving them. People, places, things, energies, situations, whatever here. Um, and speaking with truth and clarity and communication. So that is open, honest communication. So I feel like they're being very honest with you anyway. And I feel like you know that. So I do feel like they're, they are, you know, this is all about communication with the Page of Swords. So I do feel like they are they are being upfront and honest uh, with you through this whole thing about what they're doing, how they're trying to cut away things no longer serving them with this sword. 
uh, standing up for themselves, gaining clarity, truth, as they're mastering here their energies, whatever they are, healing from within, gaining their stability back. So they come forward to you the right way with this cup of love as the king of pentacles, which is long-term energy. So I do feel they want long-term. Yeah, <laughs> the lovers here, soulmate union, two people coming together as one. So, yeah, so you definitely know this is your soulmate. Definitely soulmate energy here. Okay, so let's see. It could be they're fighting an addiction or maybe they're not financially stable right now. I'm not getting like a third party energy, like another person. Um, so Eight of Swords. Yeah, so we have mental entrapment here. So they could have some... Um, mental issues i mean i hate to say that in that way but maybe some uh you know it's all about the mind the eight of swords is being trapped in your own head and your mind and can't get out of your own way so it could be maybe they're just like very high stress anxiety kind of person and maybe they're really trying to and maybe they're going for counseling therapy whatever here to you know balance out their energy i feel like it's mental conflict mentally uh, conflicted, stuck in their head, in their thoughts. And I don't think it's about you. I think it's just like life in general. You know, maybe they were unfortunately just born with some sort of um, condition, you know, like bipolar or, you know, high stress, anxiety or something like that. All right. So let's get one more. This is like your actual situation. So let's get one more. Queen of Cups in reverse. Okay. So, you know, the Queen of Cups in reverse, you know, the Queen of Cups up, upright is very loving, caring, uh, nourishing, giving kind of person, very intuitive. I feel like they don't love themselves. I feel like they just have, it could be from, you know, like abuse from childhood and things like that and maybe they don't have a lot of self-value and worth and self-love and that kind of energy and this is the mental entrapment because they're trying they're trying to go from the queen of cups in reverse to the king of pentacles male female doesn't matter so i feel like they're really trying to work on themselves to truly to really try to like love themselves to value themselves to know they have value and worth because you see this man here look, like looking down on his heart like you know, oh, okay, so let's see, let's get a couple more, clarify, and I feel like, you know, I feel like you really try to nourish this person, tell them, you know, they are worthy, you know, they are lovable, they, you know, should value and love themselves, With this lover's energy here, and I guess, you know, that's eight swords right in the middle there, it's like they can't get past all that energy so I, it could be you know like I said child because this is um if you look this is a youthful energy so it could be you know you you know trauma from their youth or something like that abuse neglect all right so let's see let's clarify here so the high priest yeah so this is you know doing what's morally just and right this is about commitment it's marriage I mean you could be married to this person or talking about marriage or wanting to be committed or it is committed but I feel like they just need, they're really trying to, and maybe they went away like to um, recuperate somewhere to really, really work on themselves. That's as with the Sikh energy, the hermit. So maybe they went away on their own, um, kind of went somewhere like on a retreat to really work on themselves. And maybe, you know, maybe it was a religious or a spiritual retreat also to help them. But let's get another energy here. get for the actual situation. This is quite different than any reading um, I've had before. The two ones. So this is about making plans, decisions for the future. Fiery, passionate energy. So I see they wa do want to make plans with you for the future. They do want to move ahead with you in the future. They want that future with you, but I think they just have so much going on in their head. Um, and they really need to start out their energy before they can come to you right, before they can come, 
into this relationship moving forward in love and stability, they have to get out of this mindset and this low self-esteem, low value, low self-worth kind of energy. But I do see they definitely do want to move forward in some sort of relationship here with you. There is love, soulmate energy there with the lovers. You definitely see them as your lover, your person, your soulmate. Oh, boy. Okay, so let's get advice for you, Taurus. Seven of Wands. So that's an energy, of uh, fiery, passionate energy of, uh, you know, standing up and fighting. So you're not going to give up on this person. Your energy, your advice is not to give up on this person. Seven of Wands is someone who stands up and um, doesn't back down, stands up for what they believe in. So, yeah, not to give up on this person is your advice. And shadow side. Yeah, definitely here. This is the devil energy coming in again. 15. So, yeah, not to give up on this person. They're facing their shadow side. Not to give up on them. Wow. Wow. It's, wow, spirit. Okay. So, let's get more. Wow, more clarity here. Take that one. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, and I had said that. They're really working hard on themselves. You want to work on it. You want to work with them. You want them to work hard on themselves so that you can work hard on your future moving together. Very stable energy for the long term. What else here? What else here? The world. Yeah, closing out chapters, starting new chapters. Exactly. So they in the world can be about traveling. So maybe they even traveled overseas or they just traveled to another state somewhere to really get like I'm I'm feeling like really deep, deep spiritual help, um kind of like really deep healing, cleansing kind of energy. Whether it's spiritual healing and cleansing or a re you know, a religion, uh religious retreat or something here, or just, you know, to a facility where you know, they're really, really being helped. But I do see chapters closing, a new chapter starting, growth, expansion, travel, really facing their shadow side. And you not giving up on them. So and so let's see the possible outcome here. Outcome here. What is the outcome for Taurus in this situation? Spirit, please. Page of Wands. So this is good news. Good news coming in. Fiery energy here. Um, I'm getting like an energy of like feeling youthful again and feeling happy and joyous. And like I've reclaimed back my youth. I've been healed. My childhood trauma has been healed. I've been healed. I'm feeling, you know, fiery and passionate, happy and joyous. I'm ready to move forward. It's good news coming in. And I'm not sure why the orange cat is there, but uh, maybe it means something, good luck or something. I know, I think black cats mean good luck. But, um, okay, so let's get a couple more. Let's get a couple more. I, th I think they're healing, like, childhood trauma, wounds, neglect, abuse, whatever it was for them. I think it's really, really affecting them as an adult, and they're really, really uh, working on that and healing that. The sun. Wow. Oh my God, <laughs> you see the child with the sun, with enlightenment, healing, happiness, joy, success, victory, happy home and family, healing their childhood trauma. And this is exactly work in, with the eight of pentacles, working on healing their childhood trauma. Oh wow, spirit, seriously, holy crap. So, yep, and that's the good news coming in is that they've been healed from their you know, or they're in a better space about this childhood trauma, abuse, or whatever they've been through. Wow. Look at all the brightness on that sun card. Enlightenment. Okay. Nine of Pentacles, you know, on their own now, feeling stable, secure, and grounded on their own. They went away on their own. They worked on themselves. They healed. Enlightenment. And now it's like I can stand on my own two feet. I'm stable. I'm secure. I'm grounded. I can take care of myself now. I'm in a good headspace. I'm ready for growth and abundance. I'm ready for any challenge that may come up here. I'm strong. Wow. Wow. 
This may not be for everybody, Taurus, but let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So yeah, Nine of Swords, stress, worry, anxiety, fear. I feel like though that was their energy before, but now they're in the King of Cups energy of being loving, compassionate, caring, giving, loving kind of energy. In the Empress, so standing in their power. Emperor, Empress, doesn't matter here. Being in their power. knowing Now knowing their value and their worth because they've been healed. They've transformed. Wow, ready for new things. Going into a better place with the Six of Swords. That's that healing, balancing, peaceful, harmonious energy. Leaving all the past bull behind and going forward to a better place of healing and happiness. Yep, healing and happiness, being in the Emperor Empress power, being in a loving, peaceful, compassionate energy. No more of the stress, worry, fear, anxiety that lingers in their head. Wow. Wow. So for the majors here, we do have, uh, let's see, we have the Empress, which is Libra and Taurus, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And then we have Capricorn, and then we have Virgo, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Taurus, Leo, uh, Leo, Sag, Aries, Capricorn again, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Gemini, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So, I mean, there could be anybody here. With the Earth uh, world, that's kind of like all the Earth signs, the fixed signs. I'm not sure of the fixed signs, but that could be anybody. So, I mean, we have a lot of different energy here and Scorpio with Pluto. So a lot of signs, but those are the um, majors in the courts that I see. So, but we do have every single suit here, so they could be anybody. So it's either you or your person here really uh, retreating, healing, recuperating, uh, coming back like a whole new person and ready for this new journey with you. Wow. And you not giving up on them. All right. So Taurus. 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 Let's get energy here for Taurus. I do ask Taurus if you look how I read to please like, share, comment, subscribe. I love to read the comments. Um, if you subscribe, hit the bell. You won't miss out. I do four different readings a month. I do all kind of bonus readings. If you do, thank you. Thank you to everybody who supported the channel. really doesn't mean a lot to me, whether you uh, reached out for personal reading or um, donated or just subscribed. Thank you to everybody. Couldn't do without you. So what do we have here? Ask your soul. So, and then we have six, one and six is seven. And seven is a very divinely guided spiritual number. See all the two hearts lit up here. So, yeah, I feel like they really went in and did that deep soul-searching work, healing work. Yep. And soul love. So now they love themselves. Wow. 33, 6, again, with the healing, balancing number. And you almost get to see, like, two figures here. So now they know their self-value and their self-worth. They know who they are. And now they love themselves. And they may not have before. So let's see meditation so you know eight so maybe you know they've done a lot of meditation uh again with that virgo energy it's like the same card here so eight so i feel like they traveled to go seek um this healing energy in some way you know whether they meditated or it's just that you know going deep within and doing that healing inner journey soul work wow wow okay <laughs> taurus well i hope this resonated for some and good luck to you, and I'm sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.